Bourbon was born in Kentucky and Louisville dryer was born in Kentucky. So the two things have a lot in common. The steam tube dryer, uh, while it's a very simple machine to operate, it's kind of a complex dryer to build. That's why there's not many people who manufacture those. With, with the Stiller's grains, the DDGS, um, there are basically two different processes that they use to dry. One would be the uh, direct heat dryer, which is a hot air dryer where you bring combustion products in through the dryer, also can, called a convective dryer. Uh, the other is the steam tube dryer. The steam tube dryer um, is, um, it, it, you're bringing steam into tubes is indirect heat. So the drying thermal load, what you're bringing the thermal load in is not in contact with the material. It's inside the tubes and the material's on the outside of the tube. So you're taking the latent heat out of the steam and you're taking that heat and driving it through the tube into the material so it's very clean. It's a consistent temperature. It's absolutely safer because you're, you're, you're charging the dryer with steam. It will take what it needs in energy to drive the process and uh, so as it needs heat, the steam will condense, give up its latent heat. The, uh, the water that's condensed out of the steam goes back to the bore and is reused and recycled. So it's thermally very efficient. It's also very friendly and it's a lot safer to, uh, to uh, process. Well, the results with a steam to dryer, since it's low temperature, you're not burning or scorching the material nearly as much. So you get a better color. Um, you, you protect those, what they call the bypass proteins which is in an animal such as a cow, uh, you want those proteins to go to different compartments of the stomach. So you can ruin those by heating them too hot and the steam tube dryer is a perfect solution for protecting those bypass proteins. What we're looking at here is one of the steam tube dryers that Louisville Dryer manufactures. Uh, this particular piece of equipment is manufactured in carbon steel. This would be the feed end of it. And what you see inside there are the tubes that run the full length of the unit. They're about four and a half inch diameter. Uh, over here you'll see the tubes coming out of the shell and they have collars that, that, um, with gaskets that keep them from leaking and what this allows that tube to do is grow independent of the shell so with, with heated equipment you have expansion and contractions that take place. This dryer itself is about 136 inch diameter and 60 feet long. It weighs about 200,000 pounds. One of the things we've done, we've been accused of, is building our dryers so robustly, and we talk about how long they last, but we, we build them so ro robust that there's, there's a special customer that needs to buy this dryer because they are looking for quality, and they know when we come in where they're going to get it. And I'm, I'm very proud. I'm proud of the people here. I'm proud of the product we put out. I come to work every day. Uh, with the high expectations that, that we're going to do something great. Uh, we are working with great people. We've got some of the best engineers uh, in the business and, and we've got some of the best people here. So I'm very proud of this company.